Well, if you want to vote early, you only have today and tomorrow to get to the election polls. Judy's live in the news or in Lakeview rather with more details on that. Hi, Judy. Good morning. Expect another busy day at early voting sites uh, where we have seen extremely long lines in these final days. The wait has been as long as three hours at this particular location. Voter turnout in the city is usually more than 70 percent during a presidential election year. This time, Chicagoans are also electing school board members. These are the early voting numbers from the Chicago Board of Elections as of last night. More than 272,000 have voted early, 150,000 by mail, for a total of 424,000 already voting. That is far fewer early votes at this point in 2020, but that was the height of COVID when more people voted early and mailed in ballots. The number has surpassed 2016 early vote figures at this point uh, at that time. This was the line outside the Bucktown Wicker Park Library branch this weekend. It stretched from Milwaukee around the corner and more than a block down Hoyne, and that was right after the site opened. Several voters told us that they would rather see this because it means people are paying attention. Many told us that there is just too much at stake to sit on the sidelines. For the first time, Chicagoans are picking CPS school board members. More than 30 candidates are running for seats on a hybrid school board that will take over in January. We tried to get here early. Uh, we were surprised to see the line so long when we first got here. But right. it's, it's moving and it's worth it. It's good. It lets me know that people are paying attention to what's going on in the world, you know? Because for a long time, I'm young, so people would assume that nobody pays attention, but you know, this kind of proves the opposite. It's such a fundamental part of our democracy and it's, we, you know, I've learned so much about the election and uh, the candidates and all, all types of things of, you know, the responsibilities of being an informed voter. Now in the city, you have until four this afternoon to vote early, and then the hours are nine to six tomorrow. You do not have to vote in your ward if you're looking for a place where the line might be shorter under the Vote Anywhere program in the city. You can vote anywhere at any of the 50 sites. In Lakeview, Judy Wang, WGN News. All right, lots of great information there. Thanks so much, Judy. Well, WGN will have special election night coverage with all of the results as well as special guests and analysis. You can always read more at WGNTV.com and get breaking updates through our WGN News app.